The Great American Hot Dog Hunt. Discover the most popular wieners in the USA. Hello and welcome to Crazy Food History, where we explore the world of food and drink. Hot dogs are a mainstay of American cuisine, but did you know that each region has its own spin on this iconic dish? Join us as we journey from coast to coast, sampling every type of hot dog available in the United States. From Washington, D.C.'s smoky and savory Half Smoke to upstate New York's bright and bold Red Hot, join us on a mouth-watering voyage as we discover the unique flavors and histories behind some of America's most popular wieners. So buckle up and get ready to take a bite out of the nation's most iconic hot dogs. Wrapped in bacon, smothered in cheese, slathered in ketchup, or heaped high with chili, whatever the toppings, the hot dog can be found all around the United States. But hot dog history lovers will recognize that this snack is not unique to the United States, since the roots of this iconic baseball food date back centuries before Columbus set sail for the New World. Hot dogs originated in Germany, where a sort of sausage known as a Frankfurter was popular in the city of Frankfurt. German immigrants carried this sausage to the United States in the 1800s when it became known as a hot dog. Hot dogs immediately became a popular street meal, and Charles Feltman founded the first hot dog stand on New York's Coney Island in 1871. Hot dogs are now a mainstay of American cuisine, enjoyed by people all over the world. Chicago's famous hot dog is our first stop on this hot dog trip. This dog has been a Chicago cuisine staple for nearly a century. The Chicago-style hot dog's unusual and delectable toppings include yellow mustard, bright green relish, chopped onions, tomato wedges, sport peppers, a dill pickle spear, and celery salt on a poppy seed bun. Each topping enhances the dog's taste and texture, making it a unique and wonderful gastronomic experience. Chicago street vendors sold hot dogs to make a livelihood during the Great Depression, creating the Chicago-style hot dog. The Chicago-style hot dog became a city favorite over time. It's one of America's most famous hot dogs and a must-try for visitors. Now, bite into a Chicago-style hot dog and taste its unique flavors and history. This hot dog tour continues with a Coney dog in Detroit, Michigan. Motor City has cherished this hot dog for almost a century. Chili, onions, and mustard top the Coney dog, a hearty hot dog. Coney dog's sweet and spicy chili balances the salty hot dog. Steamed buns with heaping toppings make a substantial supper. Greek immigrants in Detroit started selling Coney dogs in the early 1900s. The meal was made famous by downtown Detroit's Coney Island restaurant. So try the Detroit Coney dog and discover its unique flavors and history. The Coney dog is a must try for hot dog lovers, whether they're locals or visitors. The Sonoran dog, originally from Sonora, Mexico, is our next stop on this hot dog tour. A bacon-wrapped hot dog roasted to perfection on a fluffy bun is the Sonoran Dog. Pinto beans, diced tomatoes, onions, jalapenos, and a sprinkling of mayonnaise or sour cream makes this dog exceptional. Unique and excellent flavors and sensations. The Sonoran Dog became popular in Tucson, Arizona and spread to other southern states. It's a popular dish at street fairs, festivals, and other occasions. El Guero Canelo and DK Carne Asada and Hot Dogs, two of the Southwest's most famous hot dog stands, will serve the greatest Sonoran dogs. These locales have perfected the Sonoran dog, drawing crowds from all over. Our hot dog tour continues to Texas for a taste of the Texas dog, a huge and bold hot dog. Texas dogs are enormous, meaty hot dogs covered with chili, shredded cheese, diced onions, and jalapenos on a toasted bun. The Texas dog's beef-based, smoky chili pairs well with the salty hot dog. The heaping toppings make a full supper. Texan dogs became popular in the 1920s and 1930s, although their origins are unknown. It's popular in Texas state fairs, rodeos, and other events. The Texas dog is a must-try for hot dog lovers, whether they're locals or visitors. Our next stop on this hot dog trip brings us to the Pacific Northwest to try the Seattle Dog, a hot dog that's become a favorite dish in Seattle. The Seattle Dog is a hot dog with cream cheese, grilled onions, and sometimes jalapenos on top. This may appear to be a strange combination, but the flavors complement each other well, resulting in a rich and creamy hot dog that is both unique and delicious. The Seattle Dog's origins are unknown, However, it is thought to have been invented by street vendors in the city in the 1980s. 
It's now a mainstay of the Seattle food scene, frequently served at street fairs, festivals, and other events. So try and get ready to taste the flavors and history of Seattle's renowned delicacy, the creamy and distinctive Seattle dog. Now, our next stop on this hot dog trip brings us to America's heartland for a taste of the Kansas City Dog, a hot dog as huge and brash as the city itself. The Kansas City Dog is a hot dog served on a toasted bun with sauerkraut, melted Swiss cheese, and a drizzle of Thousand Island dressing. Every bite is a taste explosion because of the salty sauerkraut, creamy Swiss cheese, and acidic dressing. The Kansas City Dog's origins are unknown, however, it is thought to have gained popularity in the city in the mid-20th century. It's now a popular dish in Kansas City, frequently served at restaurants and sporting events. The Kansas City Dog is a must-try for everyone who loves hot dogs and wants to try a unique variation on this classic, whether you're a local or a visitor to the area. Next up, we take a trip to the nation's capital, where we'll sample the Half Smoke, a hot dog popular among Washington, D.C. residents. The Half Smoke is a larger, spicier variant of the standard hot dog. It's created using a beef and pork combination and seasoned with spices including paprika, garlic, and chili powder. The hot dog is usually grilled or smoked, which imparts a smoky and flavorful flavor that is difficult to resist. The half smoke is usually topped with mustard, onions, and chili, though some sellers may add cheese or coleslaw. The chili used on the half smoke is often made with ground beef and is recognized for being spicy, giving the already tasty hot dog an extra bite. The origins of the half smoke are unknown, however, it is thought to have originated in Washington, D.C. in the early 1900s. Today, it's a popular dish in the city, frequently served at restaurants, food trucks, and hot dog stands. Whether you're a local or a visitor to the capital, the Half Smoke is a must-try for everyone. And for our final stop, we are headed to upstate New York for a taste of the Red Hot, a popular hot dog among residents. The Red Hot is a hot dog prepared with a combination of pork, beef, and veal. It gets its name from the brilliant red color of the meat, which is caused by a combination of spices and paprika. The Red Hot is usually grilled or boiled and served with mustard, onions, and a unique meat sauce on a bun. The Red Hot's meat sauce is a unique blend of spices, tomato sauce, and ground beef. It's somewhat sweet, tangy, and salty all at once, providing an irresistible flavor profile. The mix of the Red Hot, mustard, onions, and meat sauce results in a tasty and filling supper. The Red Hot can be dated back to the early 1900s when it was invented in Utica, New York. It's now a popular dish in the area, and it's frequently served at local restaurants, food trucks, and hot dog stands. And there you have it, everyone, a mouth-watering tour of the various types of hot dogs available in the United States, from the Windy City to the Big Apple. We hope you enjoy discovering the unique flavors and histories behind some of America's most beloved hot dogs. So the next time you're on the hunt for a delicious and satisfying meal, remember to give one of these regional favorites a try. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and let us know what other food-related topics you would like us to cover. Until next time, happy eating!